हे गाय शुतिर जेयर अँड वेलकम बॅक टू वन्स अपॉन अ टेकी वेल इफ यू हॅव क्लिक ऑन दिस व्हिडिओ दॅन यू प्रॉब्ली नो अबाउट द गुड लॉक ॲप बट इफ यू समहाव डोंट दॅन गुड लॉक इज द अल्टिमेट ॲप फॉर कस्टमायझिंग अ सॅमसंग स्मार्टफोन अँड टेक इट टू अनदर लेवल वेल देर आर करंटली फिफ्टीन मॉड्युल्स अंडर द गुड लॉक ॲप बट आय एम गोईंग टू कवर ओनली दोज विच आय थिंक आर गुड अँड यूजफुल सो लेट्स डाय वेन द फर्स्ट वन इज माय फेवरेट होम अप मॉड्युल विथ दिस वन यू कॅन कम्प्लिटली चेंज द लेआउट ऑफ द रिसेंट ॲप्स मेन्यू So instead of the default layout you can change it to stack grid or a vertical list and there are several other options you can also make other granular changes like a mini mode which basically makes the selected layout smaller and easier for one hand usage so that you don't have to do hand gymnastics in order to use other settings within the recent apps menu so you just need to download goodlock app from the galaxy store open goodlock app go to home up module and select task changer option where you can find these settings So if you are bored with the default recent apps menu go ahead and try it out. Another thing which you can do is change the grid or the home screen or app screen so that you can add more or fewer apps depending upon your preference. They have also recently added the option to view app drawer in a list format instead of the default horizontal layout. But there's a lot of space covered by priority apps at the top and there's no option to remove it. So it still needs more refinement. Anyway, to make the changes, you need to go to the home screen option under home of module itself. Well, how many times did you take a screenshot by mistake and you want to delete it then and there before it takes up space in your gallery? With the nice shot module, you can do exactly that. Now you can have a simple delete icon beside other icons whenever you take a screenshot. So you don't have to go open the gallery app and delete it from there. Pretty handy, right? There's also an option for DND mode which will enable automatically if you are screen recording and you don't don't want to get it interrupted in between. plus there are other settings to fiddle with the next one is one hand operations plus and this one lets you customize your back gestures into any action literally instead of just swiping from either the left or right edge to go back now you can add six different actions on one edge each which gives you 12 in total and you can assign any of these actions and the list is too long to count every single one so instead of swiping left or right you can diagonally swipe up or down and add functions to those gestures and that is how you get so many gesture options and some of them are opening an app taking a screenshot opening the notification tray or opening a new chrome tab as you can see here it covers almost everything and is just awesome you can find this module in good locks family tab theme park lets you theme your phone as per your preference so you can change the colors of the quick panel which includes even the color of the text and toggles apply icon packs downloaded from the play store or galaxy store and you can even apply it to any individual icon just like you can do it on a third party launcher all you need to do is click the three dot menu select change icons and then select any app and change its icon from one of the icon packs remember that you need to download the icon pack before doing all this that's the first step although there is already a color palette feature which came with android 12 update it still needs to be fixed as it is not accurate every time check out my video where i have talked about all the features which came with one year four update by clicking somewhere here well if you have watched my previous videos you must have noticed this cool looking keyboard somewhere keys cafe is a module that is dedicated specifically to keyboard customization you can make your own theme or choose a color from the presets and then you can add any effect or should i say a combination of effect effects so there are six keyboard color effects five key color effects and three key motion effects so what it basically means that you need to choose one of each option and the result will be visible on top you can also select the color of your choice and then test out the keyboard by tapping the top right corner of the screen this gives you an infinite number of looks because of so many options and combinations and i think this was the first module i downloaded when i got my s20 fe 5g all this is under keyboard cafe module then go to style your keyboard If you ever thought of removing or shifting some icons visible at the top then quick star module can help you with that like i have removed the alarm and battery icon from my phone since my alarm is set for every day and the battery icon is kind of pointless since i can see the battery percentage already you can also change the position of the clock too other than the icons you can also increase or decrease the number of toggles in the notification panel all you have to do is open quick star module turn on show quick button grid Now swipe down the notification panel and click the three dot button and then select the button grid. So you can now switch from default four quick toggles to three or five. Also if you don't like swiping twice for the whole notification panel to open then you can change it to by clicking this option 
and you can choose it if it should open in a single swipe or an area where it should work. Pretty cool, right? The next module is Logstar, which lets you tweak the lock screen. What I mean by that is you can change the position of the current elements like clock position, notifications icon, and music widget, or add new elements to the screen as well. This also includes changing the look of the clock face, similar to the latest version of the iOS 15, and there are a tons of options to choose from. You can even add up to six apps to the lock screen if you want to for some quick access. And yeah, you can choose where it should be placed too. Like the theme park, Sound Assistant module lets you customize the look of the sound panel, but it also lets you customize its functionality. There are some color presets that you can choose from or make your own from scratch, just like I did here. Another really cool thing you can do is turn on manner mode. So if you put your phone into vibration or mute, then automatically your media volume will go down or you can also set volume keys to change songs by long pressing them. You'll also be able to set custom volume for an individual app when it is opened, which I think a lot of you will use for sure. And there are tons of settings to better control the sound as per your preference. At first, you'll find the GoodLock app a bit intimidating because it has so many modules and they have multiple settings of their own. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to unlock its full potential. And thumbs up to the developers who work on these types of apps and bring so much functionality to the table. I'm a fan really. And yeah, let me know if you want a separate video on any specific module or modules. Just comment below the like button and you can always connect with me on other social media platforms. All the links are in the description. Well, thank you for watching Once Upon a Techie and I'll catch you guys in the next one.